continue with integrating by parts. Let us look at this example, integrate uh, x, 6 squared x. So when integrating by parts, as a general rule of thumb, you have to take the difficult function as g of x. So, so this is the formula of integrating by parts. Uh, you can watch uh, my previous video where I explained uh, how this works. This is nothing but uh, product rule from differentiation. So integration of f of x uh, times g prime x dx is f of x g of x minus integration of f dash x times g of x dx. Now a good way of starting integrating by parts is uh, I start with f of x and g prime x. So I have taken this as uh, the easier function as f of x and the complex function as natural log, uh, sorry, uh, g prime of x. Okay. So you differentiate f of x, which is x, so that's 1, and you integrate this. So when you integrate g prime x, you get the function g of x. So when you're integrating 6 squared x, you get tan x. If you are, this is how I remember, I know that differentiation of tan x is 6 squared x. So integration of 6 squared x is tan x. So if you look at the formula, though, it's a very easy formula to remember. So integrate uh, this times this is equal to the cross multiplication of this two minus the integration of this two. That's how I remember. So, so I've done the steps. So writing this again, uh, integration of x, x squared x dx is f of x. f of x is x times g of x is tan x minus integration of f dash x which is 1 times g of x is tan x okay so here integration of tan x is nothing but sin x over cos x and uh, if you look at sin x and cos x this is the derivative of sin x equals not sin x negative sin x is the derivative of uh, cos x so there's a formula uh, the formula is like this. Let me remove the real. That uh, integration of f dash x or f of x dx is natural log of f of x plus c. So if this is f of x, okay, minus sine of x is nothing but f dash x. And to get this minus, I have put a plus here and taken this minus here. So this is same as plus negative sine x over cos x. So this becomes your f dash x and this is f of x. So and this is nothing but using this formula natural log of cos x plus c. A good practice to uh, always when you're integrating is always to check whether your integration is correct. So you can differentiate this and if you get back the integral or where you started with your integration is right. So I'm integrating this, uh, the integration, the answer. So that is d by dx of x tan x plus d by dx of natural log of cos x plus d by dx of constant. So here I'm applying, I've applied the product rule. So we're using the product rule, the derivative of x is 1 times tan of x as it is plus x as it is. And the derivative of tan x is x squared x plus the derivative here again you have to use the chain rule this is the inside the derivative of the inside is minus cos x and natural log of cos x in uh, differentiates to 1 over cos x so this is nothing but tan x plus x x squared x and this is minus tan x so this and this gets cancelled so you're getting back the integral back so you can give yourself a smiley face.